I have a very special ukulele here in my hands. I'm going to tell you the story behind how I got this ukulele, the story behind how this ukulele was made, and also do some playing so you can hear why these particular woods, which are different than you think for ukulele, sound so unique and cool. So anyway, first of all, you notice that this is a pineapple sundae, but you notice the very cool designs on the top, the sides, and also the back. This is something called pyrography, and this particular ukulele is only one of two that have ever been made, and this one is number one. This is the very first one done. Um, and this happened when I went to Koaloha on my last visit. This was in September that Pops was so inspired by my visit that he wanted me to have this particular ukulele. So anyway, a little bit of story behind this. So what happened was a couple years ago, Pops made this ukulele, just the body. And he had it sent out to this guy from Romania who wanted to do this artwork on it, this pyrography. And what this is, is actually burned into the wood. And if you look at the detail that's involved with this, on, I mean, on all surfaces, the burning of this wood, I mean, it's absolutely incredible. You know, it looks like a pineapple. Um, and so anyway, they had it done and he sent it back to Pops. Well, Pops put it away in a box because they were moving and then it got like lost. So Pops didn't even know where it was. He didn't even think about it. And it was a couple years later, actually fairly recently, that he was like, he remembered it and he had one on a quest to try to find it. And somebody found it at the factory somewhere in a box. And so he finished it up. Now, what makes this so unique is that besides the pyrography, yeah, that makes like this look, but the sound of it is unique because what he used here is a Eagleman spruce on the top here. And Eagleman's used a lot for guitars and becoming more popular as well on, on ukuleles, but mainly guitars. And then on the sides, he used pine, select pine. And then on the back, he also used the Eagleman spruce. So that right there, it produces a totally different sound than the cold wood. Remember, cold wood is, is warm sounding, but this one is, it's a little bright, but instead of bright, I really think it's more the clarity. You really hear all the notes. And by the way, I do have a high G on this one. And also the harmonics that are coming through on this are really clear. So anyway, the rest of this is a uh, Macassar ebony neck, also the ebony on the bridge. And then like all the Koloa ukuleles, it has a mahogany neck. So anyway, what happened was when I went to the factory, Pops was so excited to show me this ukulele because in his 23 years of building, he's always trying to find new sounds. And he was determined that this is the best sounding ukulele that he ever made. And so he wanted to show it to me. He wanted me to play it. And ideally, if I fell in love with it, that he wanted to give me the ukulele. So after a while, I played it. We talked about it. I even did a video on it that... I fell in love with ukulele because the look is, I mean, the look is so unique, but just the way it feels, obviously you can't, you don't know the way it feels, you can only hear the way it sounds, but the way it feels and the sound of it is just something I've never heard before. So literally one of the best sounding ukuleles I've ever heard. So let me play a little bit for you. It's perfect for that old time jazz sound, right? This, this, perfect. Um, but let's play, let's finger pick a little bit. I'm gonna play something I kind of played earlier, and it's gonna use a lot of open strings. So I want you to hear the harmonics and just all the how the tones ring out, and how you hear the clarity of the mids and the highs, and even a little bass with the the third string here. Where is that? Right there. All right, so check this out.
I, mean, I, I love the way it sounds for this finger style playing. I really think this is where it shines is on that finger style. So anyway, the day I left the factory, Pops wanted me to have this ukulele. I didn't leave with it. He wanted to kind of fine tune a little bit, but I just got it a few days ago and it's amazing. The great thing about it too is that he's going to start making these pineapple sundaes with this wood combination. It's going to be called the Pineapple Sunday X and it's going to be available to you. Um, it won't have this pyrography on it. Um, I mean, it might have a little, some of them may, but most of them won't because this is a lot of work involved in this. But they'll be available in different colors, which I know is, is pretty cool. So anyway, this is a Pineapple Sunday. I do have another Pineapple Sunday that is a koa wood and I'm going to do another video where we'll A, B those two and you can hear the difference. But anyway, thank you to Pops. Thank you to everyone at Koloha. This is my new Pineapple Sunday. I love it and uh, can't wait to start doing some more videos for you using this incredible instrument.